Today I will show you how to make shake effects. Yo, hello, it's Povico Smerting Visuals here and let's begin. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And now for shakes, you really need to add transform. Before we start to do anything, we have to go to adjustment layer right here and press on this button, which will give us motion blur. Now let's get back to transform. So in transform, at start, we'll want to make a couple of keyframes. So we'll make a scale keyframe and a position keyframe. I will We'll make the scale 112 at the starting frame of our shake. This is the starting frame of our shake. I'll just cut it up here so it doesn't really bother us. I kind of want the shake to be like, I don't know, a couple of frames because that's what you usually want the shake to be. You can make it whatever you want, but this is just how to make any length of a shake. Yeah, so I made the scale like this and you can really randomize here. Like this is the beauty of making shakes. You really just mess around with these settings and you make the screen to go like one side and to the other side. So at the position we can set whatever, like I can set 1030 and this one 587. So the starting frame is going to be like a little up to one side and it's going to be scaled up just a bit. Now we want to add turbulent displace. You don't need to have turbulent displace, but I just like it to have on shape. So what you can do is you can make the amount at the start minus 20 keyframe it that with this oh, Of course, please mess around with these settings This is just for this specific shake I'm just showing you how to make a shake that I showed you in the intro, but you can make very different shakes just using these effects and I like to make the size 200 yeah, and that's it and now let's add brightness and contrast you might have seen like really cool edits that have like these flashes around so it's usually with brightness and contrast so at the start I want to make it a funny little number 69 and I will keyframe it now what this will do is it's just gonna like flash and the last effect we really need to add this motion tile now why do you need this effect well if you zoom in a bit closer you can see that there's this like dark edge right here and we do not want that at all so what we can do is we can go right here and press on mirror edges and make like the output height like 400 it doesn't really matter and uh, output width to like 400 as well and now look no more dark edges before we move on i really want to tell you about my newest pack the damage tv pack this pack has been a dream of mine to make for like two years i remember two years ago i started to look into music video editing a lot i remember i used to look at these like music videos which had super glitchy effects and they were like crt and stuff and i was like i wonder if you could do that on after effects and with this pack i actually made it work on after effects so we can have like crt vhs can cars and effects two years ago I used to not have a clue how to make them and it took around two years of learning to make this pack and the pack has been super helpful for me all you do is just drag and drop effects and you get looks that I have like on the screen I really recommend to check it out and you can use code povicas to get five dollars off on your purchase all right let's get back to the tutorial all right guys so now we need to press U to see all of our keyframes and now it's just gonna be a long day of playing around with keyframes we can move one frame forward and we can make brightness and contrast to 48 uh turbulent displace amount to zero uh position to 558 this one to 500 and scale i like to scale up on the second frame to hit to have like this impact so 201 all right i'm telling you again guys these are very random keyframes i'm not like a genius on this but wait this is just what i did for this specific shake you should probably make it different but if you want the same shake then go ahead move one frame forward and on this frame frame we want to i want to make the brightness and contrast to 20 turbulent displace to 15 uh position this one to 825 this one to 580 scale to 145 move another frame forward now make it 96 here turbulent displace to 8.5 7 position to 942 and this one to 520 scale to 108.8 .8. hello random settings guys sorry move another frame uh make the brightness contrast 38 here turbulent displace to zero position 930 uh, this one 550 and the scale to 104.1 all right move another frame forward here make the position to 960 and this one to 540 make the scale to 102.1 and make the brightness and contrast to 13 all right great now let's move like four frames forward and here i want to make the scale to just 100 
and brightness and contrast to zero and honestly just have everything normal here so what you can see from this whole thing is that turbulent displays was like on on these couple of frames but then it we just stopped it you don't need any more unless you want to you can very much mess around and brightness and contrast was there still a bit and there was a bit of positioning and what you can do is you can select all of the keyframes press f9 and now let's check out our shake this is the shake that you get and what you can do is go to one of the effects press ctrl a now hold shift and select all of the keyframes go to animation save animation preset and here you can save your shake so you can call it like shake no plugins and just press save and then whenever you want to add it you can just go here type shake no plugins i didn't save it i had saved it, saved it as shake np no plugins and all you will have to do is just drag and drop and then you can add it wherever you want and that's basically it guys again mess around with the settings a lot these are not final at all uh, make sure to have motion blur on that i have right here and you should be able to make the best shake you can and also i really recommend to check out my damage tv pack remember called povicas for five dollars off that pack has been absolutely a dream come true to release and there will be updates for it as well which will be actually free for the people who have the pack and that's about it guys have a fun and productive day see ya